Hey. Hey, check me out, man. Out of respect for the streets, out of respect for Dolph, out of respect for everybody else, I'm gonna be nice doing this video, man. Because I'm not gonna even make it look, look like this lame YouTuber video is real. I done found a lame YouTuber. Keyword, this nigga is a YouTuber. Facts. He ain't from the street. He ain't from the block like us. He ain't none of that. This nigga is a YouTuber. Now, this nigga gonna take videos, not the one that you watching right now, the, I think the dude's videos just got deleted. Um, the channel. I don't delete videos. I don't delete channels. I don't believe in that. But this nigga going around saying that Key Glock is the one who off young, uh, young Dolph. Key Glock vehicles were found, and niggas doing the most, bro. Like number one, what reasons would Key Glock got? To you know, get Dolph out the way when Dolph damn sure took care of his artist, bro. If not, Dolph making you niggas become your own multi millionaires. Dolph is making these niggas get wealth and fame at an earlier rapid rate than what they was told by the streets, bro. For you niggas to wake up and put any name as a suspect, any name as a hitter, you really got no respect for Dolph, bro. Let's get that out the way. For all you niggas who want to take this man name and disparage it, bro, and say, oh, I'm going to blame this. I'm going to blame that, bro. What respect you got for this man, bro? He was a king. Keyword, a king. He wasn't somebody to be played with and ventured off. This man was a family man. You see them beautiful kids he got? The beautiful wife. The man was a family man, bro. Key Glock is his family, cuz. Why would you put Key Glock name in there? Why would you blame him, bro? I don't understand you niggas, bro. Go get your money on YouTube. Do what you gotta do. But do it without jeopardizing the lives of innocent folks, man. Don't put that type of jacket on nobody. Key Glock deleted his Instagram a while ago after the Dolph situation happened because he was hurt. Now the Instagram is still here, but he took all, a lot of postings down. And I understand when niggas do that. You don't want the wrong people to hit you up telling you what it is, bro. You ain't trying to get into all that, bro. It's like, I lost my dog. Lost my dog for the long run, bro. I need to stay focused on that. And that's what you got dudes is doing, bro. So people is trying to blame them uh, key Glock for the Memphis, even though it's like 500 of the niggas getting blamed. Out of all them 500 niggas being uh, accounted as a suspect and being blamed, why would you throw Key Glock name in there? That man doing a lot of things right now, bro, and one of them ain't worrying about sucking niggas out there, bro. He's doing what he got to do to make it, bro. Show some respect, bro. Heavily influenced artists like Young Dolph. You can't be cheesy and cheapy to be like, oh, I know who did it. It's his homeboy. It, it, it's Key Glock. Nigga, you just lazy, bro. Go be a real journalist, cuz. Don't just be one of these lackadaisy dudes. If you want if you want to work for the detective departments, I'm pretty sure MPD, which is Memphis Police Department, they are hiring right now. Due to the pandemic, a lot of you folks could go get jobs over there. Fall back. This ain't your lane, cuz, and educational purpose, you might get yourself hurt out here, cuz, this ain't you, this ain't what you do, let them real Memphis niggas and Memphis drillers out here get to work and do what they have been doing already, we don't need you goofy niggas to do it, bruh, it's a lot of niggas been getting dropped in Memphis since this young dog situation happened, niggas wanna hear all you trying to be twice, nah, niggas gonna be the Ghostbusters, all these mystery ghost killers, well, the Ghostbusters looking for y'all niggas. You feel me? Ghostbusters been dropping niggas. Ghostbusters been making sure niggas is gone. If you don't believe me, check this one out right here, cut. A violent start tonight. A violent start to the weekend. Two victims were gunned down overnight into the early morning hours. Thanks for joining us. I'm Janae Lewis. One of the deadly shootings happened just hundreds of feet from where Memphis rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed. From where Memphis rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed on Wednesday. And just hundreds of feet from where Memphis rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed on Wednesday. You hear that? Only a few feet when he had they dropping folks out here. You hear me, cuz? Niggas is being dropped, bro. We don't need niggas with the extras to do all that. Niggas is being dropped, bro. Two people are in the hospital, including a child, following a shooting at Oak Court Mall. You hear that, bro? Cut folks everywhere is being dropped. Dropped at the mall, dropped at the block. And you niggas wake up, how could I make some money on YouTube today? I'm just gonna say it's Key Glock. How the hell did you wake up and even tie Key Glock to this? This is what I'm still trying to figure out. Maybe I'm slow. Maybe I'm a nigga that ain't cool, I ain't trill, which I am trill and cool, but make me understand how did a nigga wake up and just blame Key Glock? Like, I'm sitting down here, man, like Key Glock? 
out of all the people, there, there's two other rappers that you could have said their name, which would have been wrong. But out of all these other people in beat with this man, you going to say it's Key Glock? Dog. I seen some wild things from you niggas on YouTube, but this one right here beats the cake, bruh. Not eat the cake anime, but beats the cake, bruh. Like, you niggas doing a whole lot too much. They done found the vehicle in the house, the abandoned vehicle. So many things, man. Even Dolph Security let off that yapper, that yapper all into the car, bro. Just so you can know this ain't fake. This ain't, it was a real drill that came. And it's a lot of players involved in this. This thing is too intricate and deep to just be key glock, bro. Like, I mean... This ain't even a real video I'm doing, y'all. Like, we know it's not Key Glock. Let's get that out the way. We know it ain't Key Glock. You feel me? But for niggas just to throw it and say it's Glock, bro. Like, I gotta ask again. How did you niggas wake up and blame Key Glock for this, bro? I think it's fair that you answer it, bro. You said this man got Dolph out the way. The nigga that he loved, bro. Like, he done showed so much love to Dolph. It don't make sense how much love this man showed the Dolph, bro. And you throw a jacket like that on him, a potential jacket that could take this man life away, bro, just so you can get some YouTube monetization. Nah, we ain't going for that. We ain't doing it like that, cuz. We're going to fall back a little bit and make you get your mind right. Because a lot of these little extra that you niggas want to do out here or trying to do out here, I, I understand Pippin Curry, but do it the right way, man. This right here ain't it, bro. Fall back. And let the magistrates and everybody involved in this situation handle it, bro. We just need you to go be a fan. You know, go play outside, cuz. Like, go, go, go share, you feel me, good news about Dolph. If you did really like him, you know, go give us that, bro. What made you even follow Dolph? What made you rock with Dolph? But don't just put his folks like that, Key Glock, in here, cuz you can't get views on YouTube, and the best thing to do is lie. I understand everything in YouTube is lies now, so the lies always gonna sound better. You did? The lies always gonna make everything complimentary to anything else. So now I'm sitting back like, okay, Jack, Glock is gonna roll the best way he can roll. Glock is gonna go with how Dolph wanted him to go. But right now he hurt. You don't see much of Key Glock because Key Glock just lost one of the biggest things in his life right now besides his blood and family. But that's facts, bro. That's the biggest loss a nigga gonna take in his life besides losing his main family. This is going to be one of them things that's going to be hard to recover from. It's going to be hard to get focused. It's going to be hard to even trust these other rap niggas out here. It's going to be hard to trust niggas in your own block, people in your own family, people around the world. Key Glock going to have PTSD through this. And he didn't. He wasn't even there with Dolph when Dolph died. But in your mind, it's like a nigga that changed your life like that. And they did him the way that they did him. Oh, yeah. It's going to be one of them things that's going to be bad, bad, bro. This is just facts. It's going to be one of them things. It's going to be bad, bad, and it's going to be out here for a minute, and it's going to be out here for a while, man. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Trill Hip Hop Live. Let it rock. Figure it out. Because she kept telling him. On the, like, like she kept telling me. And she was hard as hell on me. Bro, I used to think my grandma was the meanest person in the world. Not the meanest lady in the world, the meanest grandma. I used to think she was the meanest person in the world. Right. Real talk, like, bro, I just knew she would. I'm like, bro, I'm the only person in the world go through this type of shit. Like, bro, they can't go outside until after six o'clock when the sun go down. I'm on my way to black as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what it's gonna do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, she was just, she was just on a nigga. You know what I mean? Bro, I told myself I'd cut her. I'm like, man, bro, I gotta, shit, I be wanting shit. I'm not gonna get a nigga. She gonna cook. Gonna have something to eat. You know what I mean? But, man, it's three of us, bro. Shit, we want snacks and shit at school. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'm sick of that wearing the same pair of shoes. I'm sick of borrowing my cousin clothes. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> bro, I'm sick of, like, we was just, man, we was, it's like, bro, we were, the main thing, bro, we was just super blessed. We had that old lady in our life, bro, and she just gave us the game. Like, that's right, just, you that's needed why. somebody to give it to you straight, forward and raw. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't do it to you too. But like, what? How you was looking from one standpoint? Like, damn, you know, we young. This my grandma. We love her, but she because obviously the job that about earlier, bro. That was my history teacher, tenth grade. Bruh, 
she used to let me do my thing, bro. Like, Bobby in the back of her class, she had a room in the back of her class.